Welcome back to Mountain Connections. New View Life Sciences is a local Park City company and they're changing the way cancer is diagnosed and treated. And I'm excited to hear more about everything that they have to say. Paul J. Crow is here in studio to fill us on, on everything that New View Life Sciences is doing. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So as I mentioned, New View is changing the way that cancer is diagnosed and treated and at the same time reducing costs. It, it seems unfathomable. <laughs> I, I get that a lot, but it's a, it's a unique product or technology that we licensed from Thomas Jefferson University in Philadelphia several years ago. And they had done the preliminary feasibility studies using this new approach in identifying cancer on the surface of the cell. Many companies go into the cell for intracellular studies for DNA, RNA, and it's difficult and it's expensive. So this is a very simple way of leveraging the knowledge from genomics that shows or has demonstrated that from the inside of a cell, a particular peptide overexpresses once that cell becomes mutated in a, into a cancer cell. We have a product that binds to that surface. My analogy is kind of like Velcro. Uh, you've got a smooth surface and you've got a locking surface, a, a strip of Velcro. Our product is the locking surface. So when we introduce it into your body in vivo, it will lock onto the surface of a cancer cell that has a very similar type of surface. They call them receptors, but it's like a Velcro finish. So we latch on or bind to it very efficiently, and with our product we can deliver a diagnostic probe or a therapeutic, but only to cancer cells. So if it's non-cancerous, our product glides off of it and you excrete it. So it's a targeted diagnostic, targeted therapeutic delivery system. <coughs> and so outside the body, we can also mix it with biofluids, and our product will attach to cells that are shed in voided urine, blood plasma, saliva, or cerebral spinal fluid. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I read that you can diagnose prostate cancer through a urine test, yes. as opposed to surgical procedures, which is how it is done now. Yeah, there are a lot of approaches. Uh, our test, um, uh, again, attaches to shed cancer cells and voided urine, and our focus has been prostate cancer. We just concluded a study at Intermountain Healthcare here in Salt Lake. Very good results. So now we're, you know, we're moving towards the larger trial. It's only six or 700 more studies. And then we'll file for a 510K uh, FDA approval. It, uh, it's, it, it eliminates unnecessary surgical biopsies. That's the big benefit. Seven out of every 10 biopsies that are performed, whether it's a tissue biopsy or a liquid biopsy, um, are benign patient doesn't have cancer, they have an inflammation or they have an infection, but they don't have cancer. And that's true with breast cancer biopsies, lung cancer biopsies, etc. So it's a very versatile product. But our focus right now is prostate cancer in voided urine specimens. We anticipate being done at the end of this year with a final trial and filing for an FDA approval early next year. Well, please keep us posted. This is yeah. huge for the yeah. cancer world, yeah. really. Yeah. How does this product specifically affect someone who is dealing with cancer right now? They've already been diagnosed, they're looking at treatment. What could they expect from this, hopefully? Well, for men, they typically are diagnosed with an elevated PSA study, and that indicates that there might be prostate cancer. There's about 30 million PSAs performed annually. About 4 million are, uh, are elevated, and out of the 4 million, just under 2 million men elect to have surg surgical biopsy. Not a nice procedure. No. No. And uh, our test would be uh, introduced right before surgery. So if there's an elevated PSA, then you would take our test, which is essentially a confirmatory test. We only see uh, cancer cells. Outside the body, we attach a fluorescent dye to our product. And it fluoresces the cells that are mutated into prostate cancer. So the physician can see under a microscope, and right now we're automating the test, but under a microscope, see the fluorescent cells and do a cell confirmation study to confirm their prostate cancer cells. We're also able to visualize or diagnose bladder cancer and renal cell carcinoma and endometrial cancer. So it's a, it's a genital urinary cancer screen is what it is. This is fascinating. Yeah. What's the background of New View Life Sciences? I mentioned it's a Park City mm -hmm. local company. Mm -hmm. How did it get started? I moved up here from San Diego in uh, 05. And, uh, after a year of skiing and making a lot of friends, I got <laughs> bored. <laughs> so I started New View because there were several uh, universities that had new technologies that were being developed. We ended up licensing the one from Thomas Jefferson and it just kind of took off. So 
Yeah. So here you are. <laughs> here I am. Here we are. Yeah. So you mentioned you're waiting FDA approval. Hopefully this can be used all over the country. Mm -hmm. What are some other goals with NewView right now? Well, we want to take our, our product once we complete the final studies for prostate cancer and uh, apply it to other types of cancers that you can diagnose with voided urine specimens. I just mentioned that a little earlier. Mm -hmm. But we also conducted in vivo studies with breast cancer and prostate cancer a couple of years ago. And we have a different passenger we put on, that com on our compound that essentially highlights the cancer cells using a positron emission tomography scanner, which is used pretty commonly to stage cancer. So the, the idea over the next 24 months is to A, introduce our, um, our, our uh, in vitro application, get that approved, and then add additional applications, as I mentioned, bladder cancer, prostate. And this is filed sequentially with the FDA. You don't do it all at once. Um, and then seek reimbursement approval from the private payers and with FDA approval from CMS uh, for federal reimbursement. Um, the, the benefits of this product is that it's, it's really a confirmatory test. It isn't predictive. That's a big difference. Hmm. Two, it eliminates a number of surgical biopsies that are unnecessary. And for prostate cancer alone, there's about $3.9 billion uh, spent in the healthcare system for unnecessary surgical biopsies. We hope to bring that down. So we help the patient confirm they have or don't have cancer, take that anxiety, anxiety away. Two, the physician's better informed so that if it, 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 if it is a positive, the physician could use our product in an imaging procedure whereby they create a road map. So when they do a surgical biopsy needle and place it, it'll help place the needle right in the, in the target area. You don't have to stick around a lot. So it's, it's less morbidity for the patient and with the savings, by eliminating a number of unnecessary surgical biopsies, the payers are very interested because it saves them money and it's a new way of diagnosing cancer uh, in, a, in more of a confirmatory way. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's better for their, their plan members, it's better for their physicians that are involved, they're better informed, and it saves money. So it's, it resonates along the whole circle. It's great potential. Where can yeah. we get more information about everything you're doing over at NewView Life Sciences? Uh, you can go to our website, newviewlifesciences.com. Thanks so much for being here, Paul. Thank really you. exciting development. Yeah. So please keep us posted as things change and continue to grow. I will. Thanks a lot. All right. Check out NewView Life Sciences. Really exciting. They're changing the way cancer is diagnosed and also treatment. So really big news. I have a feeling you're going to feel, hear more about them in the future. And we're lucky they're a Park City local company. All right, we have more coming up this Thursday on Mountain Connections right after this break.